So this particular model here, um, another Windsor model, has uh, the dual humbuckers. The back of the guitar is actually um, a pine floor joist from an old uh, building downtown Columbus. And the top of it is pine barn siding, which is off of uh, an old grain barn uh, here in Canal Winchester. The Historic Society started to um, remove the siding to redo the siding on the barn and I actually talked with the historical siding and they gave me some of the wood. Um, one of the cool things about it is if you look at the knot at the bottom it kind of looks like a clock and that's just completely natural. Um, the neck is maple. Again this is wood that came out of uh, uh, the attic of a buddy of mine it's his old uh, farmhouse that he had a bunch of walnut and maple in the attic and the fingerboard is walnut yeah that's sick that's beautiful. Cool. beautiful that's where the clifton guitars are separated from the other and it has a uh, a set of brandon wound humbuckers that are uh, actually wound right here in, in patasco ohio and this one actually has goto tuning keys what I, see, what I see is unusual about this guitar. If you look down, it's perfectly straight from the headstock. There's really no offset here, and that that's that's a good thing. Thank you. The straighter the better.